All right, hey friends, I got my uh, 99 Pontiac Grand Am here. Uh, so the check engine light's been coming on. Um, it's about about 90,000 miles on it. And uh, let's see, got new plugs put in, uh, new air filter, new wires for the plugs. Uh, that was a little bit. And that worked for a little, a few weeks. And the, so what was happening initially was um, it was idling kind of really rough like sometimes it'd start and it'd, it'd stop and have stop and I'd have to restart it again so um, like it was choking so I had them um, took it to the shop and they did some work on it some new plugs and stuff which needed them anyways but that didn't really fix the problem so um, there's this part right here um, it's called an IAC idle air control and then what it does it fits right there and uh, clips on right there um, so basically I was watching the Chris fix and he said to clean this out it's got some carbon build up this pretty much inside there it regulates the airflow for when the car's idling so it's got a ton of carbon in there uh, basically he just cleaned his out and that's what I'm gonna do here is give that a shot and see if it works. So I bought some uh, AutoZone carb cleaner and this is to quickly dissolve stubborn carbon deposits. And I guess what you want to do when you spray it in there, you want to hold the computer part up so um, none of the cleaner runs into that. So kind of spray that out and use some Q-tips to clean it out. So we're going to do that and uh, put it back on and see if that fixes our little problem there. All right, I'm just going to clean this out a little bit. And use some Q-tips, I guess, to nice and dirty there. All right, so we're cleaning this out. We'll come back here in a second. So that's done, and we got some of the carbon uh, cleaned off out of there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back on here. Like that. And a couple of these bolts right there. Okay, and if you're wondering, the socket is it's a 10 millimeter socket there. Just screw it back on. Going with the hand mostly. Okay. So, let's cinch that down nice and tight. Get the other side on there. Okay, I've 
pretty good. All right, we'll plug this back in. And you know, fire that up. Also, well, let's see how it starts, shall we? Well, hang on. I also got some uh, gum out multi-system tune-up. It says we can add to the oil one ounce per quart of oil. Immediately start engine and run for a few minutes, for 15 to five to 10 minutes. So we can add some of that to my oil, I guess. So that's gonna go right in there. And I'm hoping it'll add some to the fuel also. Supposedly for all kinds of stuff, so small four cycle. Add oil, add one ounce per quart of oil. So this is one ounce. I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate here. That looks about right. Okay. And then it says to add directly to the fuel. Um, for optimal results, add an entire can to tank. Fill the tank with fuel and run to near empty before refilling one pint treats. Okay, so let's put some in the gas tank too as well, shall we? All right, I think I can pour this in there, not too difficultly. Let's see. Let's go fire this beast up, shall we? All right, here goes nothing. Let's see, uh, see how it runs. Okay, well, that seems to be already running smoother than it was, so um, I'm going to keep an eye on it and keep this uh, video updated in the description there, or maybe pin a comment, but that seemed to help quite a bit, actually, because it was uh, even like trying to start up, it was coughing, and it sometimes it'd die out, so I'm going to run that uh, fuel cleaner in there, too. Hopefully that'll get some of the gunk out, and uh, this as well. I'm gonna let this idle for a while. And so, uh, thanks for watching. That's how to kind of clean up your IAC on a '99 Pontiac Grand Am.